Welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. Uh, you know, from time to time, we're doing this quite a bit uh, during this time of year is asking uh, for people to submit uh, people to be on the show. You bet. Uh, we slow down a little bit during uh, after the holiday season. So if you're interested in maybe uh, booking some time here on the show, we'll be glad to, to do that for you. Just give us a call here at our office at 741-4891. Uh, give Judy a call. If she's not here, we'll talk to you about that. And we like to talk to, with anybody. And if you've got an event or if you have a uh, church social that's, uh, that's coming up you want to talk about. Or if you, or if Anything you just, going on within, within this community, right. we, we encourage you to come and talk to us about And if it. you have items you like to show and tell, we always like that. You and bet. we always like to, to talk with interesting people. And saying that, we have Good the mayor segue. of, of uh, Harrison here, Jeff Crockett. You're a very interesting person. You've been ah, quite interesting over you, the past year. You. We've we've enjoyed following some of your escapades. It's been a busy year. It's been a busy <laughs> yeah. year. Yeah. Now what? How's it been? Uh, as, as you yeah, as you look back, do you are you proud of your accomplishments? Proud of what we, we've yeah. done. I really am. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we did the road diet. It was very controversial. Mm -hmm. I think it, it turned was out really well. And I, and and I wasn't and a I proponent think, of it. I think a lot of the opponents of it are, yeah. uh, have come around and have seen the benefits of it, and it it, it travels nice, and I think it's an mm -hmm. asset. For well, Harrison there's a, the downtown there, area. There's a lot of things that are happening in town that, quite frankly, either either I wasn't noticing or, and I'm not trying to, to toot your horn or anything, but, but you are a, a proactive mayor. You bet. Uh, Try to be. So, some, pe some of the mayors we've had in the past just go through their term, and you never hear from them, and, and only when there's... And your name is plastered all over the place. <laughs> yeah, <now>. and, and <laughs> that's probably good in some cases. It's probably bad in other cases. It can be good cases. and bad, I'm sure. But, so. you know, it's, it's admirable to, find, to have someone in there that, that's going to do it regardless of the heat. You bet. And I, you I, bet. I bet you've had some heat. That's yeah. how you make progress. <laughs> you bet you. You bet you. Yeah. Not everybody's happy with change. I mean, it's yeah. always controversial. You bet. And, Hard for yeah. some people to adjust to, but yeah. and and I don't like change. No one likes yeah. absolutely when it comes down to it. Yeah. You get in a comfort zone and you like your comfort zone, yeah. and and you it's want to stay there. The way it's always been. Exactly. But <laughs> after the change is over with, you like that new yeah. new thing. Yeah. But you're you're doing some uh, work on sidewalks, which is a lot of work a on great sidewalks downtown. That was some of the infrastructure money we're spending, <laughs> and then we have another. We just me and my public works director just went down to Little Rock and signed the paperwork on a grant that we've got that's been in the works for a year and a half mm -hmm. or so. And we got a grant for, to do some more sidewalks from the newspaper up to the Hotel Seville mm -hmm. and then right. out Ridge, mm -hmm. uh, West on Ridge. So we're going to do some sidewalks out <laughs> And in although that area. it may be a little inconvenient at this point, the result will be. Well, it you looks, it you looks so much nicer, so much cleaner. Yeah. A lot you of bet. sidewalks were cracked and, and probably a hazard. Now, do, exactly. you, do you choose uh, the areas that you do based on traffic? or Basically, what they chose downtown, our streets department, Paul showed from our streets department went down and looked over the sidewalks and saw the ones that were in worst needs mm -hmm. and those mm -hmm. those are the ones we decided to do this year so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we've got a lot of infrastructure money budgeted for 2012 uh, more than it's ever been spent in any one year we're hoping to get it all spent in 2012 mm -hmm. but we've got infrastructure money we we generate two million dollars a year in the infrastructure funds and they've never spent two million dollars a year and it's yeah. accumulated yeah. in a bank account but the people vote, voted that in to get this infrastructure work done right. Sidewalks repaired, brown water problems fixed, right. sewers fixed. Um, yeah, yeah. And so we're planning on spending a bunch of money this year and having a lot of projects mm -hmm. on the drawing so board. What so what are some of the projects that you foresee? A happening? lot of brown water projects. That's been a real issue in some of the older neighborhoods mm -hmm. and real frustrating this, for this people. This area. <clears throat> real frustrating for people, especially, you know, yeah. if you're in, in a home where you're washing your clothes and they come out rust colored. Exactly. Right, nobody's right. happy with that. Now, so. is that, is that the piping in the buildings or is it the piping that's going through the combination of both yeah. there's a lot of old steel lines out in the streets yeah. um, we're doing a neighborhood up on newman west newman right now mm -hmm. uh, that is a lot of old inch and a half two inch small steel lines that yeah. are all full of rust and so they've got both brown water and low water pressure up there mm -hmm. and they're in the process of doing that neighborhood right what you, now what do you so. replace that with plastic plastic uh, okay. eight inch plastic for the okay. most part and right. new fire hydrants and new meters and so there's wow. no plastic back when they laid this down, right. I'm sure. So. Yeah, PVC, so. yeah. So that's and some other projects that are... Uh, got some street repair work scheduled, uh, some drainage projects scheduled. Uh, we've got uh, just... Uh, we've got a full plate this mm -hmm. year for infrastructure mm -hmm. work. Uh, mm -hmm. Naturally, we just uh, advertised for bids for the new trash contract, which right. is mm -hmm. at the end of the year. That was a little controversial. That was controversial. The yeah. city wanted to go into the trash business, and we explored it and ended up deciding that, uh, based on our existing ordinance... Without changing it, installing the process, we were going to have to put it out for bid again. So mm -hmm. 
that's been advertised for bid and we hope to have that bid let by the first of April. Mm -hmm. So whoever the trash hauler is at that point in time can gear mm -hmm. up to go into business mm -hmm. or the existing one will know well, he still has right. the business. Yeah, the, the great thing about that, it's a learning process <coughs> that, that you and, and, and the um, uh, council is going through. You bet. You and, bet. You, and you, it's a, you know, you, you, as, a, as a person that's, that's not in public office, at the general public, you think, well, they've got, got that all worked out. Well, no, it's a learning process it for is. a lot of things. It is. And so. one of the things we want to push with the new contract is recycling. Mm -hmm. And it will, mm -hmm. the new contract provides for um, recycling to be included with the price of your trash. Okay. So, so and then education to get people to, to know how to, to separate the trash. They, we, it'll be single stream. They won't have to separate it. It'll oh, go okay. into one container. Oh, okay. And then they'll separate it at the recycling Now, that's okay. just city. Yes. For now, yes. I mean, for I'll now. say for now because for I'd now. like to see it. You I'd know, like to see it in the county, in the also. county you as bet. well. Yeah. You bet, yeah. you bet, and hopefully right. it'll get there mm -hmm. at some point in time. So. Okay, all right. But yeah, that's. But yeah, recycling—that's something that I, I New Year's resolution was to be more proactive about recycling because that's yes. it, it's an important thing. And I think about my kids growing up and, and how the landfills are getting filled. And, mm -hmm. Anyway, so I'm yeah. glad to see that. Yeah, we use a lot of plastic water bottles ourselves, and mm -hmm. you know it's. A, we used to years ago throw them all in the trash, you and bet. it's amazing how much it's cut the Ex trash volume down by putting it in recycling. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, okay, a lot of projects. Going a lot on. of projects. Um, and your term ends when? Uh, Is it four year term? Two thousand fourteen. It's November two thousand fourteen. Okay. Four year term. Right. So yeah, I've got a couple that. more years to go, okay. and it, uh, the aldermen have to run again this year, okay. November. So. Mm -hmm. uh, It'll be an interesting election. Is there, to see it, how is that. there any frustration you want to talk about? <laughs> um, frustrating part, I think, is uh, the general public doesn't realize where city finances are. Yeah. Um, and over the years, we are the, the fifth. Uh, but you're not opposed to telling more. No, no. Yeah. We're, we're, over the year, we're the fifth lowest from the bottom when it comes to the percentage of sales tax we get in the state of Arkansas, mm -hmm. of all Arkansas cities. Oh, uh -huh. uh, okay. We were sixth, and when Little Rock passed their sales tax here a few months ago, we went to the fifth lowest from the bottom. Because um, we didn't pass it here. Right. So. And uh, it, it's, fr it's frustrating and it's tough to run a city on what we've got available. Yeah. We do the best yeah. we can. Um, but uh, hopefully uh, the additional sales tax by generating more tourism revenue and, and creating people, uh, uh, giving people the ability to stay in town and spend their money mm -hmm. with the, with the mm -hmm. uh, advent of alcohol this year. Yeah. Uh, it will help our sales tax revenue. revenue well, you, mm -hmm. you talk about alcohol. Is, is that uh, the, the tax money that you're bringing in from that? Can you see a We're a seeing an increase already. Difference? We don't yeah. have, like, like I said, we've only had liquor stores open here in the county for a couple of months now. So we really haven't realized all the benefits, but we're starting to see mm -hmm. it. Uh, it'll generate about $50,000 a year just from licensing. And yeah. then in sales tax, it'll generate yeah. right. based on how much sales we ha have. Has so. there been any, uh, I, I guess, uh, pre uh, back back before it was enacted, was there any predictions that didn't come true? Not really. Not really. Yeah. I think our sales tax will come up to what we predicted. Uh, mm -hmm. We're seeing a lot more people stay in town, not going to the line to buy mm -hmm. their alcohol. Mm -hmm. And while they're up there spending that additional money on gasoline and and, yep. and other purchases. So. Lottery tickets. It's Lottery tickets. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah. I, I, I think it's been a good addition. Yeah, yeah, it has been. We haven't seen any problems from it to speak of at this well, point. I, I, I think that, uh, and I've spent a lot of time in Mountain Home, and Mountain Home's been wet for, for quite a while. And if, if you would blindfold me and drop me somewhere in the middle of the night, I, I couldn't tell the difference right, between right. the two. So I, th I think that uh, uh, in, a, in a moral situation and in a, in a cultural, it's not going to change. No, no, so. it doesn't, so. So that was a good thing. Mm -hmm. yeah, good. It's, been, it's well, been, been a good year so far. Well, good deal. I, I'm, I'm glad you've broke through the fire and people got to know you. and <laughs> Forge <laughs> ahead. You bet. Forge you ahead. bet. <laughs> All right. Well, you're doing, I, I think you're doing great. I mean, uh, um, just, just from the simp simple uh, standpoint of, of doing something. Thanks. I appreciate that. And, and it's, that. it's good that somebody's doing something, whether it's wrong or not. That's just, right. Not everybody has it. to agree. I it, mean, exactly. It's just, yeah. And and you're you're big enough to say that if it's not right, we'll we'll step back, back up and, and do something different. My and bet. full disclosure is very important in you small bet. small government. You and, and you're doing that too. So We're you got my thumbs take up. The heat. You bet. No problem. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you so much for being Thanks. here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate right. it. Come Thank back. you. We'll do it. Let's uh, switch gears and go to another part of uh, city government. We'll be talking with uh, Captain Paul Woodruff and about a new vehicle that they've got and some other things that are on work. So we'll talk to him in just a couple minutes. Stay with us.